Good morning, everybody. It is a nice and uh, chilly, rainy day here in Minnesota. We're in Minnesota. So I got up this morning. Um, I have an appointment at the, the auto shop to get my brakes and rotors replaced because they are not doing too good. So here I am up early putting in my uh, my supplements. <laughs> What do we got? We got my little electrolytes and got that creatine. All right. Take that five milligrams a day. So yeah, we got to get the brakes replaced early, early as fuck to mor this morning. And oh, whoops, dropped the thing in there. Gotta get the brakes replaced today, and then after that, we're free to go fishing. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go fishing because I don't know how long this is gonna take. Um, it's always really awkward trying to get work done on the van because I live in here, so it's kind of like when they have it, what am I gonna do? Um, I don't have any of my stuff, I just have to leave it in here. I'm gonna bring Archie, I'm gonna bring my laptop, stuff on the bed back there, and probably gonna go to a coffee shop, edit some videos, it sounds like a good plan. All right. This is the, uh, if you guys remember from the other video, this is the artesian well water from Michigan. I have one more jug of it, which I'm very excited about. This stuff is the best water I've ever had. Straight out of the ground. Crispy. Crispy well water. I don't think it gets any better than that. No fluoride, no, no bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we are going to... We're gonna get some chores done today. That's the thing. And then, um, yeah, we'll get a workout in later. We're probably gonna do some fishing midday. Depends on how the weather turns up, as long as it's not raining super hard. But this is gonna be a little day in the life, a little vlog, as per usual. I haven't done haven't done a, a morning to, to evening vlog in a minute just because I've been hanging out with people and it's kind of weird. I don't like to I don't like to shove a camera in people's faces immediately as soon as they wake up. So but me, I don't care. So there we go. Cheers, everybody. Pretty good. Not very good, but it's uh, good for you. All right, packing up my gear. Just talked to the guys. Said they're gonna have it, an estimate for me in an hour and a half. I'm assuming they'll be able to start working on that. Gotta put old Archie on his heat pad. Got to keep my boy safe on these chilly days. This is his uh, sleeping bag actually, but this is how I towed him around when it's uh, when it's not too warm. Just hook this up to a portable charger. Keeps him uh, nice and cozy. All right, uh, got some bad news. This is not great, but Ethel is uh, not doing too well. <laughs> again, once again, uh, here we are in a hole, uh, continuously trying to dig myself out of the hole. Um, Ethel's had a lot of problems this year, uh, but I've also been driving her a lot more, you know, all over the place. We've been traveling a lot, so that only makes sense. This is just par for the course, so nothing I can do but, you know, nut up and shut up. Um, basically, I got a call from the shop. What? Let me go back a little bit. Um, I actually bought brake pads and rotors um, because I was just like, hey, I just want to get these replaced. Um, last time I replaced the brake pads, the rotors were like, eh, probably, you know, should replace them next time. So I figured it wouldn't be a big deal. Just take them in there. And uh, they said, okay, we'll call you in about an hour and a half, let you know what it's going to be. Um, and I said, sweet. So I went to McDonald's. I sat down. I used their free Wi-Fi. I edited up a little video, dropped that on the channel. So that was the, the Lake Michigan video with Adrian. Um, probably already seen that one. But yeah, so I edited it, sitting there at McDonald's, get a call. And basically, the brake lines need to be replaced. Um, or at least what they told me is that they can't touch it unless they replace the brake lines. And they quoted me about three grand, which 
would really hurt right now. <laughs> um, so I told him, you know what, let me, uh, let me think about it. So I eased the van over here to Kyle's house and now we're at Kyle's house. Um, talked to Kyle on the phone. He said, all right, dude, let's just, uh, let's just take a look at it tonight. Maybe we can just replace the rotors and the brake pads without replacing the brake lines. Cause that's a little extreme. Like maybe the leak's actually not that bad. Um, but I don't know. Um, Kyle's pretty good with the car stuff. Um, so he'll be able to give me an honest opinion. Um, not that I think the shop is immediately just trying to screw me over, but you know, I, I, I think I trust Kyle's opinion a little more because sometimes those shops, I don't know, sometimes they don't know what they're talking about. So yeah, we are, uh, kind of stuck here for a little bit. I am not going to drive this anymore because the brakes are, you know, they, they're kind of scary. <laughs> so, um, uh, not going to drive this anymore. Don't want to damage it anymore. Um, luckily there is some water near Kyle's house. We got, uh, this one little lake down the road. That's like, uh, you know, I, I forgot how long it was the lake that I actually biked to that one time. So maybe we can, we can bike to that lake again, or I can run up the road here and the river's down there. So I think we're actually going to go to the river today because that seems like the only option. Um, maybe I'll buy, borrow the the bike out of uh, Kyle's garage, but, uh, yep. That's uh that's van life. That's living on the road for you. You gotta you gotta deal with situations like that. So here we are. I will give you guys an update tonight whenever we are actually taking off the tires and looking at the brakes and everything like that. Um, we'll get the we'll get the Kyle opinion, the second opinion. All right, decision has been made. I'm going to go do a little bit of river fishing, and uh, I'm looking at my my ride here in front of me. And I'm having flashbacks to two years ago when I was in the exact same situation. Look at that. Doesn't that look familiar? Perfect. Should get us to the river just fine. And we'll go over here. This is what we're bringing. So I'm gonna bring this rod. Got the, uh, got the bastard spinner on there. Look at that thing. Best lure ever. I'm gonna bring one rod and then just gonna bring this little pack. I got this uh, Mega Bass pack. It's like a side pack that I normally like to carry. I got this at the Tackle Shack. Very sweet little thing at the front. Got the clip-ons, got plenty of room. I'm gonna bring this bait wrap. Got some Bellows Gill 5.8s and a little TK in there. Look at that. Good old Fall 74 bait wrap. Got a couple extra hooks. And I got my little like, there's just extra stuff in here, mend it and pliers and all that. So throw all that in there and let's get down to the river. Such a nice Minnesota summer day. Should be a fun and relaxing day on the river. Hopefully when we get back tonight, uh, the news is not too bad, but nothing we can do about that right now, so we're gonna go enjoy ourselves. All right, boys, had to make a little lunch stop here. Um, I was hungry, gotta get fueled up for the river. Got me a little Culver's. Look at that, stoked, I'm stoked. Culver's goes hard, okay? When you go up north, you're in Minnesota, you're in Wisconsin, you gotta get you some Culver's, okay? And uh, you can't go to Culver's without getting a concrete mixer. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work that way. They're kind of busy today. They're popping, actually. So we're gonna eat and then get out of here. So in 2022, uh, at this exact intersection right here, I got hit by a car and I broke my collarbone. <laughs> so, let's see. I didn't get hit that time. They didn't get me this time. I'm stronger, okay? I got that metal plate in there. I'm a cyborg now. Pretty wild, pretty wild. It, it, it really, it, it doesn't feel like that long ago either. It's a funny thing, but yeah. All right, we made it. I am wading across the river. We got the bastard spinner tied on. Um, yeah, this is a this is a deadly bait. Okay, check it. Check this thing out. Look at that thing. Ooh, that's gonna get smoked. Guaranteed, hundred percent. Okay, so I don't think these fish are really fucking with the bastard spinner. Um, so I switched over. I switched over. I put on the TK and first cast with the TK. I actually had one roll on it. So. 
We're gonna throw this around a little more. I'm actually gonna go back to the same pillars that I was hitting earlier just because I think that, uh, I think those fish really did not like the bass for a spinner. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a good, a good spot to throw that thing because it'll get, definitely get bit. Maybe some muddier water, but TK time. All right, well, that was a, uh, that was a bust, but had one bite and that was pretty much it. <laughs> uh, it was nice to get in the river though. Um, so now we're gonna hop back on the trusty steed and head back to the house and see about these brakes. Gonna pop the wheel off and get a little assessment here of the damage. Okay, made it back to the house. Okay, Daddy made Kyle, it back to my house. The Juddleston, <laughs> Mr. Judd, the, Finker. the river plopper. And uh, yeah, so Kyle had a couple gifts for me. Look at this. We got the the chicka plopper. I don't know. I don't chicka know. chopper, dude. And then we got the pink lemonade metro. Coming soon, coming never, coming maybe. It might be out before this video drops. I don't know, but uh, yeah, pink lemonade metro with this with the scales. I don't even have the scale one yet. This is so sick. So look at that. I'm I'm more excited about the chicka plopper though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> say hi. What's up, Wilder? <laughs> we got our uh, assistant here. He is Mr. Wilder. Assistant Wilder. Look at that thing. Assistant to the regional manager. Oh, Ethel. Money <laughs> Bye, guy. <laughs> All right, look at that. Last trip, we got new springs and new struts. And now, new rotors. New rotors and new brakes. And new guts. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> hips and knees replaced. And uh, that's kind of just, that's just how it is with these old vans. So, on, be breaking. on to the next thing. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm ready for it. All right, well, we uh, we finished installing the rotors and the pads and um, something weird happened. So when I left the shop, um, I got back in the van and I hit the brakes and they were super soft and they were not like that before. And I thought it was kind of weird, but I just shrugged it off. I don't know, I just drove back over here to the house. So we finished putting them on, turned the van on, and now the back brake line is like, pissing fluid out on the ground and it was not like that before so i'm not trying to like point fingers but like i'm wondering if the shop grabbed something and and messed it up i don't really know so now that's a whole nother thing um which is great whole brake line replacement but hey at least we were able to do the front stuff all by ourselves which is cool so that's uh, a little bit helpful but but here we go this is uh this is it. This is how you. This is how it is. Owning an old ass piece of junk van. <laughs> Wonderful life. Um, pretty rough. Pretty rough. The car. The car problems suck, man. They honestly like. I don't know. The world is so dependent on cars, and it like when your car is down, and especially me. <laughs> you know, especially me. Once your car is down, it is just like it is just a hit to the morale for sure. But uh, keep our head. I'm gonna keep my head up. I'm gonna keep my head up, and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that's really it. We're going to we're going to grind it out, and I'm going to get her fixed. Probably going to walk back in the shop tomorrow. Just see what's up. Um, I don't know. Ask them. Be like, hey, did y'all touch something and break it? Because it was not like that before. Um, it was just never. It never leaked like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I hate to be like, hey, you guys are lying to us, but that would suck. I've definitely seen my fair share of car shops that were kind of sleazy like that. But I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Um, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. That's pretty much it. I don't really, I don't really have anything else to add. I guess I'm gonna go in here and eat dinner with Kyle and them, and that's gonna be a nice little evening. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys supporting. And uh, sorry, this one was a little bit of a Debbie Downer. No fish and a broken van. But uh, that's the reality of it. That's how it goes. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.